Russia, at least 6,000 warheads make it the country with the largest nuclear weapons. Christensen said most of these warheads are in reserves, of which only 1,600 are deployed as land, sea, and air-powered weapons, such as missiles or air-dropped bombs in silo. When the USSR collapsed at the end of the Cold War, nuclear weapons remained on Ukrainian soil but Ukraine returned them to Russia. Russia, there are many nuclear weapons. There has been a lot of debate about whether this means that Russia has a kind of stimulus-friendly nuclear stance, Christensen said. It's hard to pin down. If the Russian authorities are asked to sit down at a table and fully consider how many tactical nuclear weapons are needed, based on purely real, strategic arguments, I doubt. That number will drop sharply compared to today. Today, country nuclear weapons include Russia, Pakistan, India, the United States, China, France, Britain, Israel, and North Korea. That includes each permanent member of the UN Security Council, which has been working to modernize its nuclear arsenal for decades, and three members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. The total number of weapons has dropped by about 80% since the end of the Cold War, from an estimated 70,300 in 1986 to 12,700 in early 2022. Now, Jin is does Putin have a reason to consider using nuclear weapons? From a strategic point of view, experts say Russia has no reason to use nuclear weapons but he said Putin himself was the biggest source of uncertainty. The element of emotion and anger, especially in Putin's statements, is astonishing, Hare said. In general, we associate Russia's diplomatic style with a kind of absurd, almost satirical style. style. It is noting that Christensen added that Putin often referred to Russia's nuclear weapons as an expression of power. In 2015, he said in a Russian state TV documentary that he had considered alerting Russian nuclear powers during Russia's annexation of Crimea a year earlier. It may be a sign that Putin's nuclear rhetoric is more biting than cutting, but Christensen was certainly unwilling to say. He lives in a very small bubble, and he's crazy, Christensen said. He's not really ready to do a lot of rational things. things.